Let's freeze the wiz the wizards. Let's freeze what the will you lizards. Do with that? I just said freeze the lizards. Get out. Go. I don't have any money, so I can't buy any food. Let's go. Asleep in the forest. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hand signaling that it means no harm. Its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already? Has this place already corrupted you so? Attack the ghost, lower your weapon. Lower my weapon. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Isn't the entire ghost pale? Please come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. One food gain card and the token is mine. Up or down? Let's go down. Dead Man's Gorge. It's an ambush. Two lizards. Skip that. Let's see if we can freeze them and take them out. Freeze. Uh, curse. Hit them. Bam, bam, boom. Final, there we go. Final hit. They went down a lot faster than the other two. You recover what you can from the dead. And then I get one food per lizard. Oh, I got ten food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Hit your ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. I'm going to go this way. Traveling mage. I have no gold, so I'm going to pass it. Dead Man's Gorge again. It's an ambush. Two bandits. Two difficult bandits. This <laughs> game is still lagging a little bit. I don't know what's up with that. You recover what you can from the dead. Two gain cards. Three food. Three food. I've got a lot of food. New card. Oh, goblins. Goblins. I do love goblins. Me too. Truly, I haven't seen their like in years. Excellent. One night, you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away with your weapon. They have also stolen some of your food and gold. You chase after them. Uh, as you rise to your feet, you retrieve your to retrieve your belongings. You realize that it's not only goblins stirring in this cave. Three bandits.
Somebody's getting frozen. And I think it's you guys. No, it's everybody. Everybody's frozen. It's a frozen party. Would you like to be frozen again? There you go. And curse. Get out of my way. These goblins have been very bad. Come back. You can't go anywhere. Bandits. This is between me and the goblins. But <laughs> he wasn't dead yet. Bandit was laying on the ground, not moving, and I just accidentally hit him with the sword and he screamed. The goblin threat dealt with, I continue. Forest escape. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. We're really heading quickly to that Jack of Scales. I'm not gonna reveal every single card. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. Oh, we're already on the final level here. Lone. Usury. The root of all troubles. Again, a token is at stake. If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I will repay you one day. One day. With interest. I'd like a hamburger today for payment tomorrow. I don't remember how it goes. Um... Whatever, here's 10 gold. The shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying, You won't regret this. This card's token is now yours. Gold payback. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. After 10 steps, player draws three gold cards. That's not going to help much here. And don't think I am just ignoring that very rude comment. Delicious. Though I admire his ilk, I live by very different rules. Three mages, two skeletons, or three bandits. Well... Let's pick mages because be, just because that's what I thought he was going to do. So this will be easy. Gave me the ones that I did not want. Well, technically I did want them. Curse. Reflect. Yeah. I wonder if I can reflect. It's moving so slow. I wonder if I can reflect it and then dodge over to it and get hit anyway. Oh, here comes. Here comes. Wow, I'm going to down on that skeleton. Three game cards. Healing cap. Um, doubled healing. No. Really? Is that what you're going to do? 50 health, but I could only use 11 of it. 25 gold? The Maiden. 
You might think the world of the cards is grim. Yet, even in the darkness, there is light to be found. Shouldn't she have been on the first level? Do I want longer life? Supplies? Gold? Or a blessing? I want longer life, please. One max health gain card. Five max health. Let's go ahead and actually clear this level. Not a shop. Well, I do have 33 gold, so I should probably see if there's anything useful. Skip. Sell the healing cap. What do you have? Mage's Mask hits on the player have a 20% chance of creating a mage shield around them. Fleet Cuffs increases the wearer's movement speed. Fortitude's Breath. Every third encounter does not consume food. And Frostfang. Each hit slows the target with cold. Shoot a cone of ice with the left bumper. Um, I'm gonna increase my. I was always a fan of being fleet of mind. You'll have to settle for being fleet of foot. Wow, that was rude. That is. It's not unexpected anymore. I thought we were friends. I just really realized that this mouse has been sitting here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, <laughs> I'm moving it now. Mr. Lionel! Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man sits and takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently, waiting for your answer. Give him food? I can't give him 20 gold. Ask him what he needs or ignore him. Have some food. He considers the bread seriously, before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. He then sits considering you for a while, before slapping the table with his hand. Aha! I know what you need! Mr. Lionel brandishes his staff and smacks you on the head. When you come to, you find yourself in a place you don't recognize, with your blanket tucked comfortably around you. Oh, he tucked me in. Thank you, Mr. Lionel. Noble trader. Noble in mind, or simply noble by birth. So, as you Mr. plunder the secrets of your memories, You'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. So Mr. Lionel teleported me, and I think the dealer just teleported. I blinked and he he was fiddling with his sleeve and all of a sudden BAM he's back into looking forward. A nobleman approaches on a chariot. As you walk the streets of Steigel, oh god, Steigel. He notices you and comes to a stop. Greetings, mercenary. I'm a collector of rare weapons, and yours intrigues me. Would you part with it for gold? Sell your weapon to the nobleman, or decline? Hmm. I want that token.
but I really... Yeah, decline. I need it for that lizard. Jack of scales. Disappointing, but my own fault, I suppose, for expecting to find a business-savvy peasant, hmm? He rides away. Bye-bye, token. The Apprentice. A portal and a wizard. Or at least an apprentice. It reminds me of days past. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. One day, you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. As you approach, you break his concentration and he suddenly vanishes in an explosion of magical energy. No sign of the wizard remains. Huh? What? What? I didn't get a choice of anything. Okay. Battle at Brooktop. These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. <sighs> a light draws you to a nearby hilltop, where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. Two monster cards. He summoned bandits. I shall attack. Skip. I see where they are. And you're frozen! I'll leave your buddies over there in ice. Why did you fall? He had no chance. And you're dead. I've used that artifact four times and I have four more uses before it breaks or whatever. After the battle, you search the bodies for loot to gain 20 gold, 5 max health. Nice. As you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of an ancient temple on another hill nearby hilltop. It is yours. You can take it. Thank you. Let's, uh... Do this one. Traveling healer. I don't need it. Pass it by. And let's kill this Jack of Scales. Ooh! <laughs> the guy paid me back after all. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm sure you're grateful for that. Wait a second. 87 gold. Let's go back to the healer. Um, wait, I think it's priest that removes curses, not healers. We shall find out. Ooh, he can remove curses. Oh, wow, 400 gold. Well, forget that. Leave. And here he is. Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. Jack of Scales. This lizard man's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. That's not good. Their latent magical abilities make these lizard men feared by all, even their own kind. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. So I can't freeze or curse him. This lizard man's. Oh. 
You already told me that. Okay, so he's only got four additional lizard men. Now wait just a second. That's not nullified at all. Maybe he has to actively nullify it. Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, before they unfreeze. Get out of here. Get out of here. Boom. I'm gonna curse you. You're all cursed. I wish I had an AoE. Uh, a damaging AoE. Oh, oh, he, he smacked his own guy with his tail. Good job. Good job. Freeze you! And oh, I can't curse him. It's on cooldown. He's dead. Got him. Wait. <laughs> what? I did a slow motion kick, but then he blocked it anyway, making the slow motion very anticlimactic. No! At least he hit his own guy. Let's see. Curse you. Oh, he's dead. And I'll get you. While your boss is over there banging his tail on the ground, you're dead. It's just him left. I haven't even hit him yet. Wait for him to do his thing and hit him I can't get out no curse no why aren't you nullifying my weapon and artifact frozen no Big dummy. It's beautiful. Hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. I gained his scepter symbol. The upgrades for the next fights are swift feet. I move my you move with increased speed. Food bonus: you start your adventures with more food. New starting gear: your starting equipment has been upgraded. Rat men strength increased have had their strength increased. Bandit health increased have had their health increased. Lizard man strength increased. I just met them and they're already having their strength increased. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You begin to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. For returning the belongings of the dead hero to Wandermere, you receive... Gain 10 gold per blessing. Warcry artifact. For showing the ghost you are merciful, you receive a sleep at the inn. So that's the next step in that storyline. For loaning gold to a merchant, you receive marketplace. For exploring Brooktop Hill, you receive gain 25 gold card and the altar. As a reward for defeating my Lizardman Jack, you receive these new cards. 
Queen of Skulls, Metal Ore, Holy Forge, Dark Ritual. As a reward for defeating my Lizardman Jack, you receive these new cards. Urn's Antlers. I guess, pretty sure I already had that, so I guess it's another one. And Undead Bane. I don't know what Undead Bane does, but Urn's Antlers, I think, increases damage against Lizardmen. Halfway done. Let us continue. Yes, let's. In the next video. See you next time, and thanks for watching.